Hi, Laura here. Today I'm going to do 10 looks with my Classy Cake Cosmetics. Why am I doing 10 looks? Well, apart from the fact that there's like millions of colours in here to make looks out of. I also was challenged by one of my lovely subscribers, Tracy Greet. So I decided I didn't want to do this challenge by myself and I asked a couple of my wonderful friends here on YouTube to join in with me who I knew had some classy cake cosmetics and I asked the wonderful Anya Stamper and the gorgeous Debbie Neblanc. Is that how you say your name Debbie? So I will leave both their channels down below for you to go and check out and they're both well worth having a look at. I can guarantee you will enjoy their channels if you're not following them already although you probably are because I've collabed with them a few times and you've probably already seen them if you watch me <laughs> so um Anya Stamper is just a wonderful warm generous gorgeous lady who does amazing colorful editorial kind of looks and just mixes color in such wonderful ways as well as being really supportive and we we call her the um, collab queen because she gets all of our small beauty youtuber group collabing together and talking together so she's kind of like the glue that holds us together <laughs> and Debbie is just the sweetest and so strong and so beautiful got a wonderful sense of style and puts her makeup together so lovely that I am sure you will get inspired by both of these wonderful ladies and I'm really looking forward to seeing what looks they do with the Classy, Classy Cake Cosmetics. So Classy Cake Cosmetics is actually made by another small YouTuber here and she says her, her name is Sandra Cake, which is why she is called Classy Cake Cosmetics. And she said she started making her own cosmetics because she couldn't find the colours or the finishes that she wanted. So she wanted to try it out herself. And then she was having so much fun doing it, she decided that she would sell some. And she makes gorgeous colours, as you can see. I'm wearing it on my lips and on my eyes and highlighter at the moment. And this is actually look nine if you want to check out this look <laughs> and what we're going to do is because Sandra only makes shimmers we decided we would mix it with our other palettes in the way that we would use them on an everyday basis so all the mattes come from different palettes and then the shimmers are all from Classy Cake Cosmetics and I will of course link her down the bottom as well so that you can go check out her website and I will put down below as long as I can fit it all in <laughs> All the colours that I use for each look. So if there's a colour you particularly like, you can go on her website and you can order the colour that you want, or you can order a palette. And she does custom palettes as well, so you can just ask her for whatever you want. <laughs> so it's going to be a long video, so I'm going to keep the intro short. And let's get on with our 10 looks. So first look, I'm going to start off with my Sweet Talk Colourpop palette and I'm going to go into some browns. I'm going to go into the Aha Honey palette from Colourpop and go into the Stinger colour. Now I'm going to get my classy cake cosmetics and I'm going to go into Calla Lily here. I'm going to go into the highlighter Anya. Ridiculously small brown pencil from LA Girl 
glad on gel. It's actually getting quite hard to use, that one. Because <laughs> it's so small. I'm going to get an Autumn Harvest. I'm going to get a palette for this because I keep dropping it. And then I'm going to do the rest of my face and show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, I changed my mind. There's one more thing I want to do before I put my foundation on. Okay, I'm going to get my e.l.f. glitter glue. And I just want a little bit. That was a lot on my finger. but. <laughs> Do I want to use my finger or a brush? I think I might want to use a brush. And I want to put some here. Now I'm not sure how this is going to work out. So it's a bit of an experiment. But I'm going to go into abalone shell here. And it's a very, if I do it very lightly, it's a very kind of chunky glitter colour and I just yeah I'm gonna put a so I'm just dipping my finger and I'm not really rubbing it at all because I don't want to pick up lots. I just wanna have a little sprinkle that looks like glitter. Now I'll do the rest of my face and then come back. And today for lipstick, I'm going to use, oops, can I open it? Soulstone down here. Because Sandra's Classy Cake Cosmetics are safe to use anywhere on the face. So I'm going to use my Duraline. I'm going to put a, a little drop on there. I only need about one drop. And then I'll just get some of this to mix in with it. And there is my first look. First of all, I'm going to go into my Revolution Life on the Dance Floor Guest List palette, which looks like this. And I think I'm going to use Dark Corner here and Light Up out of here. And I'll probably lighten it up with something out of my TT Freedom palette. Maybe, maybe this one. I haven't completely decided, but I'll do that and then we'll go on to the Classy Cake Cosmetics. So I'm going to go into this colour here first, which is called Chera, and I'll pop that on my lid. And then I'm going to go into Nona here. I'm going to put that on the outside corner. These two colours go really well together. Then I'm going to go into abalone shell here, and I'm going to put that here. I may use some glitter. I think I will, just to make sure it goes where I want it to go.
Yeah, that's what I wanted it to do. Look how pretty they are together. Looks nice. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to clean up underneath and put the rest of my makeup on and then come back and do under eyes. That's what we've got so far. And I'm going to use my Colourpop pencil in, no it's not Colourpop, it's my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Life in Pink. Then I'm going to go in with Light Up first. And then I'm going to go in with that one, this darker one. I'm going to go in with Nona. Put that on the very outer corner to match up with that corner there. And then I'm going to go into the abalone shell one. And then I'm going to do my blush and I'm going to use, um, you have got to be kidding me, the blush that Sandra gave me. It's just, just a little one of it. Because I think that colour is perfect to go with this eye look. And I have to go in with Sandra Bell as a highlighter because I'm doing a pink look. I've got to do it. <laughs> I can't possibly use any other colour at the moment. <laughs> Here is look number two. So today I'm going to start off with the California Love Palette from Colourpop and use just some of these basic browns. Go into my nudes four palette because um, these browns are a bit warm for what I'm looking for. I'm just using this one here called Gown. I'm going to go into Sovereign here. So I'm just using it on a fluffy brush because I just want to give a little hint of sparkle. I don't want to pack it on. I'm just going to go in with my black pencil tight line and then I'm going to do a little wing. Now I'm going to go into this blue called Christopher J. M. U. A. Here. Oops, where is it? There. And first of all, I'm going to use my LA Girl Glide On pencil in Royal Blue, and I'm just going to put that in the waterline. I'm going to do the rest of my face and then come back. So, here's what we've got. And I'm just going to put some highlighter on and I'm going to go into Extra Terrestrial here. So I'm wearing my Coffee Craze Maybelline lipstick. It's a colour sensational one. I think it goes really nicely with that colour I put on the lip. And there is look number three. 
So, have I done my hair today? No, I have not. So, I thought if I put a really big bow on, you might not notice. <laughs> so, look for today. And I'm going to start off basic again. This is becoming a thing. <laughs> I'm going to start off with my Nudes for BYS palette. And I'm just going to go into some of these basic brownie nude shades. And I think that's all I'm doing for that part. And then I'm going to go into my Classy Cake Cosmetics. And I'm going to go into this gorgeous colour Mistress Death here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an eyeliner out of it. So I'm going to use my little palette. And I'm going to use my... If I can get it out of the box. Which I can't my Inklot Duro line and I'm going to mix some of that with the Mistress Death colour. So before I start with the actual eyeshadow I'm just going to map out the shape that I want a little bit with pencil. If I can get this pencil to draw. It's, um, it's the designer brands ones and they're not that soft so it can be a little tricky. So I need to do it with the eyeshadow because th these are just quite hard to get to work properly. So what I'm going for is a big wing. This side is completely different from that side. <laughs> I do that side. <laughs> You'll never do that again. It's not, not right at all. They're completely different. This one's okay because it's straighter. This one I've done up too high and it's doing the curly smiley thing. And this is why I don't do big wings on my eyes because they're too old and wrinkly and hooded and it's really hard. <laughs> but I think I've got it mapped out the way I want. So now I'm going to go in with, and I think I want a pointy brush. I'm going to use this brush for the points and I'm going to use this brush here too. wing it out. I'm going to start with this one. So I'm using my Classy Cake Cosmetics and the Inklot Jewel Line together. I love this colour. That's basically what I'm doing. So now I've got to try and do this side. So here's what I'm looking like so far. And I'm going to go in with my extra terrestrial DNA. Oops, just throwing my brush away. A highlighter from Classy Cakes again. Use that on the inner corner. Because it the colour ties in nicely with that Mistress Death colour on my eyes. And I don't want to be too highlighty today because this liner, because I use the eyeshadow, is very shimmery, so I don't want to take away the emphasis of the eyeliner by doing too much and, and kind of rambling. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Colourpop Purple 
crows on my bottom lashes. And here's look for. And I used my OXX lip liner in Fantasy with the matching OXX gloss. And then I just put a little bit of that Mistress Death colour just in the middle because Sandra's eyeshadows are all lip safe and you can use them anywhere on your face. So that is number four. So I'm up to look five with my Classy Cat Cosmetics and I'm going to go into my Sophie X Revolution palette first and this one's getting really beaten up because <laughs> the packaging's broken and I'm going to go in with now what colour is this? Grow Old, this one here And I'm going to go into Strawberry Sweets here. Then I'm going to go into Star Lord. That in the outer corner. Going for a red smoky eye vibe today. And then I'm going to go into Nona, which is this one here. So Nona is such a pretty kind of red berry shade. It's a very interesting colour. Very pretty. And I'm going to go in with, uh, what's it even called? Missy. This one here. And I'm going to put that one right in my inner corner. And then I'm going to go in with my Aubergine Glitter Eyeliner from Wonder Tube. And put that in the bottom. And I'm going to go into Purple Hair Don't Care. And I'm going to put some of that just on the bottom as well. And then I'm going to go into Fairy Winkle here. So I'm going to tight line. And I'm going to blend out just with this dark cream from my Nudes Fall palette. sure that it's all seamless and not too much of a harsh line. And on a small brush I'm going to go into what's it called Blossom out of that same palette, the Nudes 4 palette. This is a matte. just want to deepen this a little bit up a little bit. Just, well, I speak words that you can actually understand, even the crease up a little bit, <laughs> but not a lot. So I'll do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. So I think I want to go into my Paulina palette. And I just want to go into Paulina. <laughs> that sounds weird into my Paulina palette, into Paulina. <laughs> I don't want quite that much. <laughs> and I'm going to go back in with purple hair, don't care. Highlighter, I'm going to use Sandra Bell because that goes with the whole pink look that I'm going for at the moment. <laughs> and 
there is a Lock 5, my burgundy red smoky eye look. So today I'm going to do look six with my Classy Cake Cosmetics and I'm going to start off with my BYS Nudes 4 palette and I'm going to go in with this gown colour because today I want to do a natural kind of look because there's lots of colour in this these palettes and you might be thinking well that's all very well but what am I supposed to wear to work? <laughs> If you work somewhere where they don't allow you to wear lots of colour. So I thought I would show you a natural look. And I'm going to go in with this one here called Sovereign. So I'm going to go in with Affinity Gauntlet. Yeah. And then I'm going to go in with eggplant. And then I'm just going to go back into my Nudes 4 and just get this dark cream one here. And a tight line and I'm going to do a flick this time. And I'm going to go into my Wanda 2 Super Stay eyeliner in Glitter Bronze and I'm going to put that underneath into Infinity Gauntlet. And then I'm going to go back into Sovereign which is that lighter one. Then I'll do the rest of my face and come back. And there is my neutral look using the Classy Cake Cosmetics. to look seven with my Classy Cat Cosmetics and I'm going to go in first with Killer Lily and use a fairly fluffy brush and I don't want too much of this colour to start off with and then I'm going to go into Cantaloupe And then I'm going to go into Missy. And then I'm going to go into April Showers. glue and I just want a really little bit of this. And I'm going to just put a little bit on my finger and just tap it. And then I'm going to get Mermaid Magic. And this one is a kind of a flaky kind of formula and I'm going to use a fluffy brush because I just want to pick up what 
little bits of it. You can add some sparkle without being too opaque. I want to see the other colours through it. This is King Triton. And I'm just going to go into some white, and this is Penguin from the Sophie X palette. Today I'm using the Ultra 3 lipstick in Soft Toffee. And for my highlighter I'm using the King Triton from Classy Cake. So we're on to look 8 and I'm going to start off with my Paulina palette from Blush Tribe and I'm going to go into Friends. And then I'm going to go into my The Tribe palette from Juvius that the beautiful Kaylee Wesley bought me. And I'm going to go into this dark green colour here called Sand. Colors go really well together. And I'm just going to go into this cream from Sofix called Pancakes from Revolution, the Sofix palette, and I'm just going to clean that out. Now I'm going to go in with my Classy Cat Cosmetics, and I'm going to go with Honeydew first because I just want to make sure I get the placement for what I'm doing in the right place. So. I do think I'm going to have to go over this at the end, but I just want to get the shape that I want right. Isn't that just a gorgeous colour? I'm going to go in with Hulk. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to do this one or not. So Gamora, this one here, I haven't completely decided, I'll see what the colour looks like. I think it's going to be too close to that other colour that I used. I think I'm going to try Turquoise Twinkle and see if that does what I want it to do. And with what I'm trying to do better. And now I'm going back in with Honeydew. So I'm going to go into Aquaman and put that on the liner down the bottom. And then I'm going to go back into this dark matte green from the Juvia's palette the tribe I'm going, to go, I'm going to go into humble here from the Paulina palette and then I'm going to get my King Triton Classy Cosmetics highlighter
then I'm gonna clean up and although I have got some foundation on most of it's worn off now so <laughs> I'm gonna finesse my face a bit and then come back so there is my final green gradient look and I use my Nude by Nature lip lining pencil and my Ultra 3 lipstick in soft toffee So now we're up to look nine with my Classy Cake Cosmetics and I'm going to start off with a couple of different things. This one is from the Chi Chi Diva and this matte is from the Sofix Revolution palette called Cloudberry. So I'm going to start off with those first today. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush. I'm going to go into the darker one, which is the one from the GG palette. And then I'm going to go into Penguin, which is from the Sofix palette as well. It's just a matte white. And now I'm going to cut my crease. I'm just going to use my Pro Conceal. LA Girl concealer for that, if I can get some out because it's getting quite empty. <laughs> so this is where we are now. So I'm going to do, I'm going to play with the turquoise colours in my Classy Cake Cosmetics because um, I haven't played with them that much and that's why I cut the crease because I don't want the orange and the turquoise to mix in this case. So I'm going to go in for a start off with Aquaman. I'm going to go in with Turquoise Twinkle, which I think is going to be a bit darker than Aquaman. And I'm going to need a different brush because I need something a lot smaller for what I want to do. Because I want to wing it out. And then I want to go in with Mermaid Magic. So pretty. Okay. I think. I'm going to go back into the Chi Chi Diva Orange. I want to put the inner corner. I wonder if this one will look any good. This is King Triton. It's a highlighter. Yeah, I think that'll fit. Let's let's see. It'll fit with the colour scheme that I want. Basically, I've just gone dark and lighter and lighter and lighter with the aqua. Yep, that fits perfectly with the aqua colours. Even though it looks quite green in the pan, it works really well with these colours. I think I might try. It's not quite the right colour, but I'm going to use my Wonder Swipe in whatever colour this is. Cha-ching, it's called. So I'm going to use my LA Girl Gypsy Teal in the waterline. It's a bit bluer than I wanted. What happens if I go over it with some green? That's better. So I'm just going over it with 
limelight, which is the same kind of pencil, just different colour. So it's an LA Girl Glide On Gel. That goes better. So here's where we're at so far. And now I want to try doing um, BH Cosmetics Eye Brights and what colour is this? Gnarly? I think that's what that colour says. The writing's really tiny. And I'm just going to put some of this on the back of my hand. And I just want to do a sort of a half line. Maybe. Or maybe a whole line. I'm not sure. So now I just have to hold my eyebrows up until it's dry. <laughs> so I'll do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. And there is my finished look for number eight. So on my lips I have got my Ink Lock Draw Line and I used Aquaman and then just a little bit in the middle I used Mermaid Magic. And for my highlighter, I used the King Triton like I used in here. So that's my highlighter today. There is look eight. Nine. There is look nine. <laughs> to look 10 and for look 10 since it's the last look I thought I would use a couple of my favorite shades out of the classy cake cosmetics and one I've never used I think there's only one that I've never used and so the one I've never used is actually Black Panther just the black shiny black one it's got a bit of a kind of a shiny silver undertone and one of my favorite shades is honey Dew. just gorgeous gorgeous green and another one of my favorite shades I need a clean finger is cantaloupe Surprise, surprise, there's an orange in my favourite colours. <laughs> I'm sure if you know me at all, that is not a surprise. <laughs> and, oops, I've forgotten what that one was called, hang on. Herman. And this one is He-Man. It's a nice yellow kind of orange it's almost yellow but it's got a but it is a, a very light orange so that's what I'm going to put on my eyes today so I'm going to start off possibly with a couple of mattes and these are both from the Rebel palette so this one is called Brave and this one is called Modern from the BYS brand I'm going to go in with Black Panther. I'm going to go in with Honeydew. And then I'm going to go in with Puppy from Colourpop. I'm going to open this carefully because it's broken. And with cantaloupe. And then I'm going to go in with He Man.
So that's basically what I'm doing. So now I'm going to do eyeliner and things and my, the rest of my face and then I'll come back. So what I thought I might do is I'm going to try, and I haven't done this before, the cantaloupe as my blush because it's so pretty. I don't think I need very much of it though. So it'll be a glowy blush. What I could do as well, just to be a bit extra, is I could go in with He Man and just put a little bit of that on the top. Not so much as a highlight, but just has a bit of dimension to my blush. And then I was watching Purple Pink Red which is um, Brianna's channel and I will link her in the cards she was using abalone shell as her highlight so that's what I'm going to do today because I haven't used this as a highlight it's a very glittery highlight on a fluffy brush what happens if I use a smaller brush and what I think I might do is I'm going to spray my face yeah, it's very very glittery because I think it's one of Sandra's um, extra kind of shimmer colors up here as well, whatever's on my brush. It does buff out to a nice shine. But it is glittery. So if you don't like glittery highlighter, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I don't I don't mind a bit of glitter. You might have noticed. And so now I've finished. Now that I've got some mascara on, does it look any different with mascara on? Or can you not even tell? <laughs> so that was 10 looks from Classy Cat Cosmetics. I had a lot of fun doing this. And I was trying to come up with different colour schemes or different ways of doing my makeup so that all the looks weren't looking too much the same but different colours. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll go and check out Debbie and I hope you'll go and check out Anya because I'm sure their videos are going to be really creative and fun to watch as well. And if you're interested in Classy Cat Cosmetics, I will leave her website down below and go check her out as well. I'll leave her channel down below as well so you can go and check her out. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.